Hey guys, how's it going? Here to review Boku no Hero, My Hero Academia, Episode 2, Season 2. Uh, I didn't really do a review for Season 1 or anything like that, and I'm not going to do live reactions unless I feel like it's something that's live reaction worthy, but this is Episode 2 review. So they did something pretty interesting in this episode. They uh, introduced us to all the other Year 1 classes, like the B, C, through I think like J or K, something like that, and they're not all heroes. Um, some people didn't make it into the uh, hero program, so they can work their way into it through the sports festival. And some of them, they said, are business people, or I think like sidekick people, or something like that. I don't know. I didn't read the manga, so like I'm learning this as you guys watch this. But um, thought that was really interesting. And the one guy in particular, I don't know if they said his name, the one with the purple hair and the purple eyes. I feel like he's gonna be a big threat. So in this episode, I didn't think we were gonna get to the actual start of the games. I thought it was gonna be like them training right before the games, like the episode was gonna end off right, like right where it started. But like we actually started the games, and the character who interests me the most right now is probably Todoroki. The I don't know how to say his name, but the guy with the half and half power. I want to see him use more of the firepower because he's badass with ice, and I just feel like he'll be overpowered with. Uh, if you use the firepower. The reason why he interests me the most is he did a couple things this episode. The first of all, most obvious thing is he confronted Midoriya about him being stronger than him, which he probably is. Uh, I don't know whose power, probably Midoriya's power is better, but he doesn't know how to control it fully. But um, as of right now, he's a lot stronger than him. But he said a couple things. He said All Might has his eye on Midoriya, and we obviously know that because he has his power. But he seemed a little like ticked off by that. Like maybe he wants to be noticed by All Might because he thinks he's worthy or something like that. At the end of this episode, he also said that he has to impress his old man, and he seemed ticked off about that. And that can mean two things to me. As of everything we know right now, it could either mean that his dad runs some kind of hero association, like a manager or something like that, or something to do with heroes and uh, how they're picked and chosen, or his dad is All Might. I'm just saying because he sounded like he was ticked off that Midoriya, All Might had his eye on Midoriya, and he says he has to impress his old man, so maybe his old man is All Might. That'd be like a crazy twist, but uh, that's like that's like reaching. I don't think that's there. He's probably like he's uh, like uh, one of the head people at like a hero association. That's my better guess. I'm also really liking the idea that's brought up in this episode by Todoroki. Um, where he says that they're all not playing at being friends here. He's right, even though all the people in class 1A are, not all of them, but some of them are friends and they're working together, they're going for jobs to be a hero, and like they're not, they can't help each other out all the time, and I really like how that's brought up. And uh, I just want to say one thing. They're like how they're honing their powers and stuff like that. We got like a little uh, montage of them doing that. But the one guy, I don't know his name, obviously, he's got like the rock head. He's got like the two flaps on the side of his head. I'll put a picture right here. I think he is extremely overpowered. Don't know why. Everyone's showing training real hard. Midoriya, Torogi, uh, everyone, Makugo. But he's just sitting there and like he's just having like, the birds come to him and stuff like that. And he's like not even worried. I don't know why, but I feel like he's just going to do something really crazy and really powerful and everyone's going to be like... That's just my guess we're calling it right now. Haven't read the manga. But anyway, we got to the start of the games today. And um, I'm liking the change in character from ba Bakugo Kachan. Um, I'm still going to use the name. It's been a while since I watched this. But I like how he's a lot more serious now. Like, Midoriya not, didn't whoop his ass, but like he really proved himself to Kachan in the first season. And I'm liking how he's like a lot less confident. Well, not less confident, but he's a lot less boasty and braggy. He says what he has to do, and he's um, taking things a lot more seriously. And I really like that change in his character. He's um, a lot more of a character now than just a person who thinks like, you know, oh, I'm super strong, I'm the best, blah, blah, blah. He actually um, is more likable now. But anyway, I'm looking forward to the next episode. I'm trying to get back into the thing of things we're reviewing. I'm a really busy person, so I could probably only make these videos on the weekend. But um, I'll try to put some One Piece reviews and stuff like that up there too. But uh, thank you guys for watching um, and have a nice day. Like, comment, and subscribe.